Alright guys, now it's time for the Continental Sport Contact 7. This is, well, clearly replaces the Sport Contact 6. And this is the latest version with an updated compound, updated tyre pattern, and so on. So, let me show you how Continental rates this compared to its predecessor. Let me show you this. So there you go. In pretty much every measurable metric it is better compared to the Sport Contact 6 in terms of dry handling, dry braking, wet handling and so on. But what is even more surprising is that mileage has gone up by quite a fair bit by 17% and this is even more surprising because they told me they've changed the compound to be the softest compound they've used on a UHP tyre like this ultra high performance tyre. So despite this compound being a lot softer than before they've managed to increase the mileage by 17%. They've done this by rearranging the track pattern so now you get bigger blocks like this. These are stiffer rubber blocks. They've minimized the, the holes. The, so it's basically a racing slick. So there's a lot more rubber in contact patch as well. So there's a lot, there's more rubber to wear down. So therefore it lasts a little bit longer. If you are to believe Continental, they say they proudly claim this is the best tire in the world bar none. And they're saying they're not the only ones saying it because in Europe, a lot of the press have done, you know, multiple tests group tests and they've won like seven so far this one especially they say that the sport auto their regular top rank is i would say you know like like best or, or uh, really good uh, specifically only for the sport contact 7 they've added an extra rating called outstanding it's like you score an a but you are better than that so they, they made a special rating a, a plus or an s just for you i think that's pretty cool so their display car is this uh, Brabus tuned EQS so anyway back to the Sport Contact 7 we've actually done a short braking test with this the Volkswagen Golf GTI one with Sport Contact 7 and another one with the low performance tyre they wouldn't tell me what brand this tyre is but yeah it's clear to see <laughs> not sure if you can see that it's a brand I've never heard of it's called Aus, Aus stone, Aus stone, yeah, never heard of it either. So anyway, and these are the results. Myself, I stopped at 25.8 or something like that on the Spot Contact 7, while on the low performance tire was 30.1, which is here. So right there and then, the performance difference from stopping between 80 to 0 kilometers per hour is about five to six meters but even more alarming is that by the time the car with the Sport Contact 7 has stopped completely the car with the cheapo tires are, is still going another six meters and at this point it's still going at around 30 kilometers per hour so you can you can you imagine if there is an obstacle around here if you have Sport Contact 7 really good tires they would stop just about on time if you have cheapo tires, you would smash through it and still go another. Oof, yeah, I can't even can't even imagine the amount of damage you would get. So there you go. What do you think? Do you believe this is the absolute best tire in the world, as they claim? Let us know in the comment section below. Ciao.